Hey everybody, I hope and pray that you're doing well today. So we come to our word from the word. And today that word is desert. Desert. Now you just imagine, kind of like a picture, right, uh, of a, what a desert would be like. To be not just journeying through, but living in. Trying to thrive and survive in. Even, even the littlest plants are starving for any nutrition, any kind of water, any kind of nourishment at all. Now, on the other hand, if you take a, a tree that is planted right beside a stream or a river, think about how strong and how deep those roots go and how much nourishment they get. It's always right there. The water's always right there. Now, that same example, that same picture is what Jeremiah paints today as we look in uh, Jeremiah chapter 17. And let's see what he says in verses 5 through 8 today. Thus says the Lord, Cursed is the man who trusts in man and makes flesh his strength, whose heart departs from the Lord, for he shall be like a shrub in the desert and shall not see when good comes but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness, in a salt land which is not inhabited. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, and whose hope is the Lord. For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spreads out its roots by the river, and will not fear when heat comes, but its leaf will be green, and will not be anxious in the year of drought, nor will cease from yielding fruit. Now, that's pretty plain for us to see. You know, there's some explanations. Sometimes we could really dive into some scripture, and I mean, you could dive into these verses as well. And in some way, well, it may be a little confusing as to what it's talking about. Well, today, I, I don't know about you, but I believe this is pretty plain and simple. Cursed is the man who opposes God, who goes against the will of God, who who denies God, who will not listen to God, who disobeys. Cursed is him. Now, what does he say? He says, okay, well, that cursed one will be like that shrub in the desert, never finding any relief. Always wondering, is today the day that the sun is going to finally take its last hold on me and I'm going to shrivel up and disappear? Waste away. And today there are too many people on the face of this planet who have done just that. They've cursed God and they have become cursed themselves. There are those who, I mean, sadly though, there are those who who know the things of God and who have directly disobeyed them, directly gone against them. And they, they wonder why they get no relief and the relief comes from the Lord. Well, the thing is, is if you notice, The river's not in the desert. And what happens is when we turn away from God, when we oppose God, we're walking away from God and we find ourselves there in the desert. Be like that little shrub, just little small roots. And you think about a little small bush has a very short, very small root system. But he says, blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope, not is just in the Lord, but whose hope is the Lord. Now, if that is you, then he is saying that you will be like a tree planted by the water. You will be the one that doesn't have short roots, just hoping to find some little scrap of water. Now, you'll be like a tree that has deep roots. Often the, the root system on a tree is, is much larger underground than whatever you see above ground. And to think it's not even being by the river, it doesn't have to search for water. It's always there. Blessed is the man who trusts in God and whose hope is the Lord. See, we don't have to live in a a dry and desert land. Too often, though, we find ourselves there and we say, well, where did all the water go? Well, what we did was we walked away from it. We turned away from God. We turned away from the one who could supply our every need and decided, as, as he said, cursed is the man who trusts in man, who trusts in flesh. You see this throughout Israel and throughout Judah's history, right? As he's talking about throughout Jeremiah, he said, look, all the times, and even Jeremiah himself at times was 
trying to trust in man and was fearing man more than fearing God. And, and he says, that's when you find yourself at your driest. And you think about it, the times in your life and in mine that, that we have felt the biggest distance from God and just feel like, you know, feel like I'm not getting anything. It's because of the environment we have placed ourselves in. We're no longer, even in the valley, the valley stuff grows and it's green. And yes, it may be painful and, and we may be looking forward to getting out of that valley, but that's where the water is. That's where the grass grows the greenest. But too often we've said, okay, well, I just wanted out of, out of this valley and we walk on and we find ourselves not on the mountaintop. But we find ourselves out in the desert. And we're going there by choice. We're going there by choice because we've decided to trust in man more than trusting in God. So today, I would simply ask you, just look around, spiritually speaking. Are you in a desert? Or are you surrounded by the river and the running, flowing water of the Spirit of God? It's a good question for us all to answer today. God bless you, and I pray you have a great, great day.